Well, hello everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, this is Bruce from Big Plant Nursery. Just thought I'd uh, wish you all Merry uh, Christmas and, uh, and season's greetings, but also introduce our sale. Our famous uh, January sale starts Christmas Eve midnight. And to that end, everything we grow and sell online is 20% cheaper. So with that in mind, I thought I'd show you a behind the scenes look of what we do at Big Plant. This is our growing nursery, and I'll walk around and show you a few bits and pieces. Important to know, as we look at some of these palms and, uh, and plants that we've got, everything we grow here is in peat free compost too, something that we hold very uh, special to us, uh, looking after the environment as much as we can. Some lovely uh, jubeas here. Moving along, we've got uh, Washingtonia, we've got uh, the pedophilum, uh, we've got beauteous, uh, all these are our, come some of our larger specimens, and uh, that takes me along to oh, the agaves and some of the succulents. Well, here we are in um, agave land. Lots of agaves here, different types. We try and grow some more unusual ones. Abatifolia, Titanata, Gentryi, uh, Ferox, um, lots of different Parii's, to name a few. All of these um, plants, like our two litre that these aren't quite ready, but this is the sort of thing we send out on the internet, uh, seed grown. So, uh, very nice. We always pick out uh, the better strains as well. As you look through, you find some really cool ones. So we tend to uh, prioritize on those and they're the ones that, that you get when you order from us. So, um, agave's peat free compost. Well, here we are with some uh, palms. So we like palms here at Big Plant. These are all palms that we would have bought and then subsequently grown on. Again, um, potted on in our special compost and uh, doing quite well. Washingtonia, nice batch for next year. We don't have to bring those in from abroad. Beautia aerospatha. If you're the chap that bought one or chapess that bought one yesterday, this is the one you'll be getting. Moving along to the Beautia odorata. Dazzlerians, Bertifoliums, uh, Longissimums, and uh, Longifolia. Over here we've got Cordylines growing on, Trachycarpus, 10 litre, 20 litre. It just goes on and on. And we have, as you can see, I'm sure you're quite surprised, quite, quite a number of these all growing quite happily. Minus, um, Six to seven in here last week. We're, I think, 19, 20 degrees now. What a crazy situation. But just to let you know, there's no heating in here at all. And it was pretty much frozen. And the plants, well, they've all bounced back and uh, they look good. Nice dazzlerians, nice trackers. I'll show you up here quickly. There's some interesting plants amongst the more regular fare. There's some nice cerifers. Uh, some volcanoes, and uh, there's some unusual trachycarpus. Uh, I think we've got some some nice rag ragnarians. I'll talk about them in a minute. So let's let's whip over there, shall we? These out. Uh, these are Trifrinax campestris. These came from a palm collector who um, who grew them from seed. I think 20 years ago. Uh, we took them on when they became too much for him. Potted them on at ground. We've got a couple of sizes now. But UK grown Trifrinax compostris. How many times are you going to see that? Whooping down here. Some really nice uh, Trachycarpus wagneranus. Now, as um, a lot of you probably know, but some I'm sure don't, wagneranus is variable, and not all wagneranuses are the same. So when you buy one, always make sure it's one of the really compact, really stiff forms, because there's a lot of um, diluted variants because it hybridizes quite nicely with Fortunii. And the Fortunii ones aren't quite as good. And some of the ones coming in from abroad have got slightly um, not as good provenance. So check them out, really nice. There's a group of um, Tessan here, fast growing uh, form of Trachycarpus again. It's, um, it's a form of Fortunii, gets a dissect leaf, quite rounded. And then as we go along, 
40 litre camera opses, uh, camera ops for Kano, camera ops serifera. Nice batch of serifras down there. The volcano, some more Wagner Anus over there, Washingtonia, and growing on Trachycarpus. Over that way, there's uh, Agapanthus. Uh, in amongst the Agapanthus, there's Jocorostratus, Acacia provissimus, Melianthus major, Ficus brown turkeys, and uh, a few yuccas. So that's this. So this is glass house number three. Number three has a little bit of shading and is the one that we do give a little bit of heat to. So in here we've got lots of Dixonias. Dixonias were wrapped up with a bit of fleece because obviously it was so cold. Pot grown, uh, we do pot grown three litre, two litre, seven and a half litre, 10, 20 and so on and so forth. Plus we've got lots of others, but I'll show you those in a minute. Here's Sayafi Australis here, lots of um, Hardy and Patians, more ferns growing on. We do as many as we can uh, in, in variety of, of hardy uh, and exotic looking evergreen ferns. Um, we'll start them off in a two litre, moving on to 7.5s and hang on to them as long as we can. A few Blechnum Chalents there as well. And just behind me, you'll see some more um, young plants moving along. Through here, Azarans. Quite a lot of different angelicas this year, rather like those. Some unusual phygesias and more young plants. Chefleras, Daphnophyllums, Cynodopatis, and of course Faxes, and uh, Pseudopanax. I'll move on to tree ferns next. So this perhaps is one of our most important bits for, uh, for many of you. This is the Dixonia Antarctica. Here we have some that have come in in the container uh, back in the summer and we're growing them on. We thought it'd be fun to try and grow some on and see how lush and exotic we could get them, see how much we could get growing on the trunks and just produce a really interesting product. As you can see, most of them are from two foot to four foot. They go quite extensively down through this region. In fact, if you come down here, there's always something that is a surprise. You never quite know what you're gonna find amongst the tree ferns. And, uh, oh yes, of course, um, it's Father Christmas. Hello, Father Christmas. <laughs> Hello, kiddies. <laughs> Moving on, uh, we, we do have quite a healthy team working with us, trying to keep the place on track. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. I certainly have enjoyed doing it. And uh, I hope also you've got a grasp of what it is we do and how hard we work to provide the plants that you all seem to love and enjoy. And uh, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and, of course, a Happy New Year and cool gardening for 2023.